Well, welcome back. With only a couple of nights ahead of me, I'm not traveling too far from Calais. I'm heading back to a relatively small lake where I finished the trip last April. It's got a relatively low stock of biggins, but there are definitely one or two around the 30 kilo mark, and that's exactly why I'm here. There's a carp there feeding. It rolled about. 20 minutes ago, looked like it was probably about 30 pounds, although difficult to tell at this range. The weather's boiling hot, it's really humid. It's amazing what a month of sun does. The lake's now covered in weed. There's definitely a few bubbling up in the weed and very few anglers about, so it's looking good for a night or two. Good morning, it's um, Saturday morning and I got a carp last night, it's about, I think it's about 22 pounds, beautiful, really old looking common. To be honest I was expecting a bit more. It came on the left hand rod, just on a pair of tiger nuts um, on four inch hook length. I'm not even sure if it's 22 to be honest, it's probably a little bit less. But there we go, undoubtedly one of the carp that was rolling, probably the only carp, that was rolling over the bait. It's a good start. It's again not one of the bigger ones. I've been desperately unlucky with the big ones on here, but it's a nice carp nonetheless. <laughs> Contemplating what to do today now. There's nowhere near as many bubblers as there were yesterday, and I was expecting more action. Let's try and get your mother now, which is hopefully three times the size. First fish from the new lake, I hope they're not all this small. Came on one of the right hand rod, boated out um, about 10 metres to the right hand side of the island. Beautiful little carp, but at least it's daytime action. I'm hoping, again, this is the trouble with a lake I really don't know much about. It's a public lake. I've heard there are big ones in here, but you just, you just don't know. There we go. Putika. Putika? Right. There we go, they're getting bigger. This is 26 pounds. Took a, um, a 24 mil with an 18 mil pop up on top of it, so a big snowman presentation. Goodness me, it's, eight, it's seven o'clock in the evening. I've had two fish already, I've only been here a couple of hours, so. It's looking good for tonight. Hopefully we can get a big one. That's what we've come for. Long weekend away. The aim is a 40 pounder. Now let's get the rod back out. I'm in the middle of a town. It's an hour or so south of Calais. A few lakes dotted around the area. I thought I would give this one a go. I don't know, again, I don't know too much about it. That's one of the issues with these public lakes is that you just don't know. Unless you see the photo evidence and you know the records, etc. You, 
there's always a bit of a gamble, but I'm going to give it the night, possibly two. I've had two, um, I'm expecting it to get quite hectic tonight and hopefully we'll get into a better carp. Both takes have been at about a 70, 80 yards. Um, I've not had anything close in. I'm assuming that the fish are pushed a little bit further out from the pressure, although I can't really see much pressure. Let's see how things go. You're getting that? Such shallow water out there. Anyway, time to carry on the fight, it's kiting. Okay, good morning. It's, it's Sunday morning. Nothing during the night, but I've had two this morning. One small common of about 10 pounds and um, the other one was a 34 pound um, mirror. So getting a bit bigger still. Here's the, here's the 34 pounder. As I said, this came at first light this morning, but nothing since apart from one small common. So fingers crossed, we've got a bigger one coming. Oh yes, looks good, doesn't it? Happy with that. Big old barbels. Quite a big mouth as well. It came on a bait, chucked about 80 yards, sing, um, bot, single bottom bait. I reverted all rods to bottom baits. It was hooked just in here, um, very tight to the bottom lip. So I'm, I'm assuming that they're, they're basically feeding flush to the bottom, searching out the boilies and sucking them up. So I'm guessing a bottom bait is going to be slightly more effective than a pop up. Turned very grey and windy. There was a thunderstorm about midnight and then it's just been wet and windy. The temperature's dropped a few degrees. Hopefully we should be in for a couple more today. But again, not as much action as I was hoping for and certainly not the size of carp. But we've had a couple of doubles, 26 and the 34, so they're getting slightly bigger. Fingers crossed for the 40. The rod that the rod that you saw the take on last night that was off the corner of the island, that was a small common of about 10 pounds as well. Just unhooked it in the net and put it back. As I said, I've heard rumours that there are big carp in here. 34 pounders so far, but we've not even made 24 hours yet, so it's a good start. Okay, time to put this baby back. Well, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. It might seem like a stupid decision to move tonight, but I put 10 kilos of bait in a lake when I got here so on, on the Friday, Friday early in the morning. So it's had two nights to fester. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some bait in here and um, probably a bit further down the lake. And if it's no good, I'll come back tomorrow, but I've, I've got to see if they're on that, if they've had that bait, because I know word on the street is there are some big carp in the lake I've got to give it a go for the night so I can always come back tomorrow night for my last night I made the decision it's time to pack up I moved out, I moved back to where I put 10 kilos of bait in and I had two in the night both about one o'clock, 10 minutes apart. The other one was a double, this is 28. Again, not a massive carp, but a beauty nonetheless. Um, winds picked up a horrific um, easterly. Temperatures dropped about five degrees. And it's pushing right down the other end of the lake. So even though I had these two, toying with the idea of moving down the other end of the lake, but I'm gonna stay on this lake now 
They've, they've been on the bait, they like this bait. Hopefully we'll get a bigger one than the last night. Oh, lovely clean fish. Beauty. Let's try and get a bigger one, eh? Be desperately unlucky with these smaller ones this trip. Right, time to get you back in the water. As I said, the wind's picked up a real strong easterly and it's crashing into the bank, um, into the western bank. I've come round here. I've already seen three or four shows. Um, they don't look like big carp. One was a big carp, but the others look like probably 15, 20 pounders. Um, feels quite weedy. I've just chucked three rods out into the ripples and I've, I've sticked out about a kilo of bait all over the area. I'm gonna do the night here, do the last night here. Um, it's not over the pre-bait, but um, there are carp in the area, definitely. So let's see how we get on. I've been here about an hour, I've got one already, again another small one, but welcome nonetheless. Good start, hopefully we're going to get a bigger one because I know they're in here. Okay we've got here two at the same time, so three in about an hour, definitely found them. I don't know if you can, if I can hold them up very quickly. One's about 30. And the other one is about 15. Anyway, let's get them out. This is the bigger one of the two. I guess it's about 25. I want to get the rods back out so I'm not going to bother setting everything up. Beautiful fish though. There we go. Right, time to get the rods back out. Rig wise, I'm keeping it as simple as you like. I've had four carp now, all under 26 pounds in the space of a couple of hours. The wind's changing slightly, but just want to make sure that I've got everything set, set up and ready for, um, for when I get a take. It's opportunist fishing, so you want to try and make the most of it while you can. As I said, the wind's already changing. There's no guarantee how long it's going to stay like this and how long the carp are going to be in this area. The lakes of about 50 acres, so they can be moving on um, at any time. Um, Rig-wise, I'm keeping it very, very simple. We've got here, um, it's, a it's a dyed yellow 20 mil um, or 18 mil live system bait. Um, that's on a ring, a size six long shank nailer or the size six long shank mugger in the covert style. And, and I'm using that with six or seven inches of sheath skin hook link. I have quite a few tied up. Um, I'm also using the, the mugger in a size four, which isn't the long shank, it's working just as well. Two rods set up as backup for when, for when I get a take. I can put the net down and whack one of them out onto the spot uh, as quickly as possible. Um, I've changed the zips um, purely because I'm trying to get a bit more distance, maximum throwing stick distance, maximum casting. Wind's in my face, so it's probably about 80 yards. And I'm putting a four bait stringer on that. Um, I've, I've changed over to the Dynon braid. There's weed in front of me and I'm having to pull it out of the weed. Um, and, and the braid's definitely better for that over mono. It's some fairly brutal tactics. Um, so yeah, that's that. Well, you're not going to believe what's just happened. 
First of all I got a take, I hit into a much bigger carp. I thought I thought it felt pretty good. And and anyway, it got caught in the weed. The weed's quite bad out there. So I thought, well, I'm on 20 pound line, I've got a good chance of being able to pull this through. Pulled it right up to the net and I saw it and it was a big pale mirror, a, at least 45 pound, it was massive. And would you believe it, and it pulled. Absolute disaster. And so I went and got my boat. I thought if one goes in the weed again, I'm gonna get in the boat. And I don't know if you can see from here, but we've got a crosswind. And with my lines out, I didn't really fancy bringing the motor down. Plus it's quite a long walk from the car. So I went out with one oar in the boat. And of course the crosswind picked up. It took me right down to the left hand side. I was just pulling, pulling the carp through all the other lines. Of course, one of the lines got snagged and the carp was tethered there on the surface out of reach. <sighs> I had to jump in the water, didn't I? Absolutely freezing cold. Got the carp in, 31 pounder, which we're just about to see the photos off, but flipping out, I probably disturbed it as well out there. Things couldn't really have gone a lot worse, but at least I did land it, thankfully. It's time to do the photos. Soap to the bone. I needed, I needed a wash anyway. It's got a broken swim bladder this one. Goodness me, what an unbelievable palaver that was. Oh, swimming out. I, I got into the water from the boat thinking it looked about three foot deep. And it went straight over my head. The, the weed was about four foot deep. God, this carp fought. Look at the size of the tail. Oh, as I was saying, the one that I lost before this was phew, at least 10 pounds bigger than this. Just very quickly, look at the size. I don't know if we can get a little bit of the carp's mouth. Ginormous. Could fit 50 mil boilie in it, easy. Again, nothing from midnight on. I had two small ones in the night. And then this morning, the wind's completely changed round, but I just sticked out another 100 baits scattered all over the area. And it seems to have produced the take. Recast all rods got firm, um, firm drops on all of them. So that goes to show us just the other side of the weed. Another small one, upper 20. Um, this is the first female, or one that's carrying a bit of spawn. Maybe they've spawned out, I don't know, but this one certainly got a bit of spawn in it. Again, I had horrific trouble landing it. The weed's so thick close in. And there we go, what a complete mess that is. That's when you start getting um, hectic action, everything gets in a complete mess. 
tidy up time. It's gone fairly still, it's very hot, although it's clouded over now, which is a good sign. Um, nothing like yesterday when we had the wind crashing in. I've had 12 now out of this lake, nothing over um, 31 pounds, which is pretty disappointing. I've had a chat with some Dutch boys on, on the point. They said that I've been extremely unlucky. N normally there's 20 kilo fish every, every six or seven carp that you catch. Um, there was the big one that I lost, which was probably over 20 kilo. I'm almost certain it was, but still like to think I've only that, that's the only fish that I've lost so one in 13 and it was the big one at least it show, goes to show that the rigs and the baits are working well the two guys on the point they've had three carp all small so I'm doing quite a lot better than them and there's a guy over to my right he's not caught anything he's trying to poach my water but he's a French guy straight away he got his marker rod out started thrashing the water to foam with a marker rod um, when they're really, it's fairly uniform out there, just a lead, chuck a lead, couple of casts here and there, that'll do you. It's, it's not like we're fishing a gravel pit with all sorts of undulations or anything like that. It's 8 o'clock in the evening on, on Monday night, it's dead still out there, it's raining and the lake's very quiet indeed. Dutch fellas over there had a bream about an hour ago, but there's no, no carp jumping, no one's catching anything. It's one of those times where you feel like um, the chance has slipped away. I should have come a day earlier on that wind, but I was elsewhere. I put 10 kilos of bait in um, in that other lake that I was fishing a couple of days ago. It's only half an hour's drive from here. I'd much rather be fishing over that than where I am now. Especially now I've been told that I can't use the boat because landing one in this weed is going to be very diff difficult. Anyway, we'll see, we'll see what happens. It's getting quite late now, so I think a move isn't a reasonable option. Just have to hope that the carp come in and feed during the night but it's just looking so quiet and still out there. Right, well it's seven in the morning. As you can see, the wind's picked up a little bit coming into this, this section of the lake. And it's produced three bites um, from four o'clock. 4.30, um, 6 and 6.45. I just had the biggest, which is sacked up down there, which is 32 pound. The others, the others would, one, one was about 28, one was about 24. So anyway, I'm desperately running out of 18 mil baits, which I'm needing to um, get the distance in, in the throwing stick. Don't particularly want to resort to a spawn and, and start sploshing around out there. Getting through the bait, I'm topping the swim up with sort of 50 baits, maybe 80 baits after every fish and it seems to be working. It's like match fishing, you've always got to keep a bit of bait in the swim to keep them interested. Yesterday morning when I was really tired, I just left the rods out and didn't get any action. So keep the bait going in little and often especially with this wind but the noise of the bait hitting the surface isn't particularly severe and i don't think it's spooking them well not like it would if it was flat calm anyway i right, leave it there okay here's the 32 pounder it's 10 o'clock now wind's picked up big time but the feeding seems to have stopped i think this is just about the end of the trip for me. This fish has clearly been caught a couple of times compared with the others that had clean, very clean mouths. It's got a few marks in it this one, but cracker. Nonetheless, time to put her back. 
sadly a 20 kilo plus carp never came my way and that was the last of a prolific long weekend return safely. Within minutes I was back on the motorway and making my way north towards the tunnel. I had a long drive ahead of me and work to look forward to in the morning.